let out the biggest fart I've ever done. Right now, I'm away for a big fat steamy jobby. This is my Christmas present to you, Mr. Waugh. Eight, I have for the man to. Time for these two cows. Christmas presents. My hand up their ass. But it's called Mojo, so she's gonna get some Mojo put inside her this morning. Just feeding, scraping up and feeding calves and whatnot, so an AI and an Aye, pretty good. It's quite good up here, because if you really want to know how the milking's going, but don't want to let anybody know, you climb up the stairs and you switch the light out and nobody knows you're here. Actually, when I was going to fill up the wagon yesterday morning, I burst an oil pipe on the Manitou, eh, not this one, the other one, when I was using the block car, which was... <laughs> I thought it was a block car. Merry Christmas all. Hope you all have a wonderful day with plenty of presents, food, and alcohol. I know I'll be doing the same. Bye. Time for these two cows. Christmas presents. My hand up their ass. Doing my research here this morning. So 239, that first cow in the crush. She is 60 days calf. So she's getting star boy. That's a Holstein. And after that, 250 behind her. She is well, aye, same there. Aye, 113 days calved and she's been AI twice so she's now on to beef semen so she's getting the Belgian blue no British blue sorry I keep saying Belgian blue because dad always called them Belgian blues they are British blues <laughs> but it's called Mojo so she's gonna get some Mojo put inside her this morning so I'm gonna go do that now I don't have my tripod so you're not gonna get to see the action I do apologise, but the lighting down there is not the best either, so it never comes across well on the camera. So, I'll fire on do that the note. I hate the fact we've got a window up here actually, we can see the whole parlour working. And uh, there's my dad out the back there, scraping the shed out. 135. The relief milker David, he was helping this morning, milking. So that took a bit of pressure off me and dad, there's a far less to do. Just feeding, scraping up and feeding calves and whatnot, so an AI and an Aye, pretty good. Takes a lot of pressure off, rather than having to do absolutely everything. It's quite good up here, because if you really want to know how the milking's going, but don't want to let anybody know, you climb up the stairs and you switch the light out and nobody knows you're here. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. Sorted. Well done. So I've just got these to chase away. The straw lot to feed down here. And then I've got the dry cows to feed that's just behind the wagon there. And uh, Dad's still scraping out. And then that's near enough us just calves to feed after that. We will feed the milk. I'm sure, I hope. She should do something. She's got to contribute, God's sake. Um, aye, getting there. I didn't actually have any intentions of filming this morning, but somebody spoke to me and I was like, ah, oh, your dad just cannot go without, so this is my Christmas present to you, Mr. Waugh. Right, so the dry cows, all they get is silage, so it's a very easy blend, so straight in with a block cutter and that should be me. Actually, sorry, there's heifers in there too, so it's the dry cows and heifers. They're eating, they're eating two ton a day, the buggers. So, it's, you have to feed them every day, it's, a, it's annoying. You can't feed them until it's all scraped out and whatnot. But aye, it is what it is and that's just the way it is. Actually, when I was going to fill up the wagon yesterday morning, I burst an oil pipe on the Manitou, eh, not this one, the other one, when I was using the block car, which was... <laughs> I thought it was a block car, but it wasn't it. I mean, why would it be? It's new. Uh, and then... Well, before that, five cattle that were still out in the fields escaped and they were out in the road. But now they're in, so that's all of the beasts in on the 24th of December. So, there we go. <laughs> that's the latest we've ever had cattle out. <laughs> I actually made up a delightful little tune, so hopefully you enjoy this small clip I made. I forgot there's some swearing in the song, so if you're 
not supposed to be listening to swearing, switch off right now or skip ahead. LOL. Merry Christmas. Silent night, holy night, I have fucked the man too. I have changed it for the other one And some cattle have escaped from the field I know this doesn't fucking rhyme But I don't give a fucking dime Sleep in heavenly peace I will be awaiting my record deal. You can approach me via Instagram or in my emails. Thank you very much. I'll be waiting in anticipation for that. Just going to let them in now. Fantastic, getting there. I have no idea how this pigeon has done this, but it has. Tough luck, mate. Oh my God. Do you hear that? Shh, shh, shh. Do you hear that? Absolute silence. That's fantastic. I love that. Just absolute silence. Everything's done. I think there's only calves to feed their cake, but that is everything. Nothing has calved. Those two are eyed. Finished. So that's everything done now. So last night I was actually getting Christmas dinner uh, on Christmas Eve. That was a belter. I ate far too much. My stomach was going to explode. It was in pain. I took it too far yet again. Uh, I actually had to leave the room before I gassed out. Uh, the birds, um, Auntie Mary, who was sitting next to me, I had to leave just because I knew something wasn't right and I let out the biggest fart I've ever done uh, when I was out of earshot. But saying that, it would have been funny if I'd done it at the table. But if you're watching this, Mary, you're welcome. <laughs> so, same again tonight, but with uh, my family, Bartley Bra. Uh, but right now I'm away for a big fat steamy jobby and uh, we sleep and uh, just relax for the rest of the day unless anything goes wrong and then milk in time at night. Bro, hope you all have a good day. This might be my last video before the end of the year but you never know. I didn't know I was going to be recording today so here we are.